Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on, y'all? All right, so today we're going to be doing part two of full self driving. So we're going to be in the Tesla Model Y. This is the uh, the 2021. Had my car for uh, actually going on about three years now. Hmm. Yeah, so going on about three years, uh, Tesla actually sent this out to me. Like they gave me the full self-driving package for whatever reason. I don't know. But anywho, we're going to get in here. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're going to let this thing navigate to Lancaster, South Carolina. All right, so let's go. All right, here we go. Ugh. Navigate to Lancaster, South Carolina. All right, hopefully the steering wheel will pop up in just a second. I'm gonna hand this off so we're being safe. Okay. All right, let's see. So we're in the parking space. I don't see anything right now. All right, here we go. Let's see, is it going to pop up? Nothing? All right, nothing pops up, so we're gonna go ahead and back out of the parking space. Put it in drive. Now this is different, like this is new. They just, we just did a software update and those parking spaces, the way that those parking spaces now look now, it's definitely different. All right, so there we go. The steering wheel has popped up, so we can go ahead and put this thing into. All right, keep hands on wheel. I still got hands on wheel. I guess. Pay attention to the road. What happened? I don't. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's try this again. Again, guys, we had the same issue last time. Take control immediately. I got an uh shut, shut part of the dog on the gate. We getting out of here, bro. Alright. Let's try this. Let's try this again. We'll try it again once we get to the stoplight. Wait, still what disappeared. Alright, we'll go ahead and start down this way then we'll go ahead and uh engage the autopilot again all right now we're off i'm going to uh keep this thing go turn up there we go maybe that was too much force gonna do the speed limit we're gonna turn this AC up though we're in Charlotte man the people in Charlotte uh, they drive a little fast so we're gonna see okay. what are your thoughts so far on this thing we got we y'all we have somebody that is riding my bumper right now because we're doing 36 months <laughs> It's all good, man. Do the speed limit, brother. Always be safe. Always be safe. You can't edit it to be a uh, faster or like yeah. use more assertive or something. Yeah, you can. I want to say like uh, you can bump the speed limit up like a plus five, I believe, plus ten. Yeah, that's the uh, that's one of the, the biggest issues with that. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a good angle? Yeah, 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 yeah. You good? You good? All right. Apply a little bit of pressure to the steering wheel. Yeah, things have changed a little bit, man. Not, not much. Like again, I did a um, an update yesterday while I was at home and. The only thing that I can honestly tell, though, is the uh, the parking spaces. That's the only thing that I honestly recognize. So ever so often, it is asking for me to uh, apply, you know, a little bit of pressure to the steering wheel. I don't know if the lights were blue. 
that, that might be new. Y'all let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Now, in two days, that last video that I did about this on this, this small Tesla channel actually got like 1,600 views. So, hmm. it was a lot of comments up under there from people giving advice. I did read some of y'all comments and I do appreciate, man, all the insight that you guys gave me in the last video. I appreciate that, man. Like I said in the other video, I don't do autopilot, full self-driving at all. Again, I've had my, my Tesla for going on three years now and yeah, I rarely use autopilot. If it's not for like a video, then I'm probably not gonna engage that thing. And Tesla actually just sent out this full self-driving uh, beta version or whatever. And so we're gonna, we gonna test it out. We're gonna test it out. We got about an hour, an hour drive. We're gonna see, see how this thing does. It's not technically uh, navigating to a specific location. It's just, just to Lancaster. Just get us in Lancaster and then I'll, uh, I'll take it from there. I do want to do a video tomorrow with the, the summon feature. We're gonna do that tomorrow. We're gonna put the drone in the air and uh, and test that thing out. All right. It looked like it, it has us going the uh, the back way. It's doing a pretty decent job with standing the lines, man. I feel like when I'm be driving, I'd be a little bit all over. Right. There was a lot of people <laughs> that had some issues with, with Tesla in the comments, though. Saying something about Elon Musk. And... Yeah, boy. It's, it's always, I always see, like, the opposite side. The far ends. People that love it and people that just cannot stand Elon, Tesla, anything they got to do with Elon. <laughs> Is that even the little boxable homes? They no, has yeah, I think the crazy thing is, I think boxable is actually still up under the radar, sort of kind of. Yeah. A lot of people, like a lot of people, know about it, but when I asked on uh, my real estate channel, a lot of people were like, "What the heck? What is that? What, what is boxable?" Because everybody is interested in tiny homes now. The entire world has shifted. You see them on different news channels, YouTube channels. Ain't no more space for big homes. Yeah. <laughs> Taking over with the uh, apartment, apartment building, apartment complex. Charging everybody rent. And guys, I also, I wanted to do this this test after 8 o'clock, so I was hoping that everybody was going to kind of be at work. Because again, man, uh, Charlotte traffic, they can, they can be brutal. And uh, I don't want anybody to be going to the hospital because they're upset. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. <laughs> Check that temperature. All right, 45 miles. Now it's about to get on the interstate we are approaching the interstate it needs to signal it should yeah okay there we go got the signal it did all of that itself signal again all right what kind of interest is the highest gonna go around this curve you gonna slow down brother we doing no dog go 40 miles per hour turning there it is nice nice smooth hey okay then kick it kick it To, you don't have to apply a lot of force. I think that was my issue in the beginning, man. Listen, I'm, I've been in the weight room, y'all, so. <laughs> so I can be a little bit aggressive sometimes. So I'm going to let this thing do whatever it wants to do. Um, in the other video, I kept wanting it to be in the slow lane. It kept trying to get over to a faster lane. But if it wants to get over now, I'm going to allow it. I'm curious, man. I've seen a lot of people. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people that have had their Tesla um, for some years, 
and uh, I'm just wondering how often are y'all using full self-driving? And I believe that this thing is actually on chill. It's not on aggressive or anything like that. I think I got it on chill. Because me, personally, I prefer to stay in the slow lane. Keep me in the slow lane, brother. Just saying. One thing that I did learn um, while I was doing this is if you do signal to get over, then it will get over. Go ahead and signal real quick for me to get over. Check everything, make sure everything is good. It will get over. It's probably gonna get back over though, because it feels like it knows best. It knows better than me. <laughs> I actually did do a little bit of uh, full self driving in Canada while we were up there. They didn't do too bad. They didn't do too bad. Where you did it? Huh? Where you did it? When I was sleeping? You don't remember when you held the camera? And oh. <laughs> that's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, while we were uh, on the highway, the young lady that's holding the camera right now was holding it. And I <laughs> trying to get caught. But we actually we record a lot of content, though, while we were down there. Like, that was just nonstop recording. Try to get as much content as possible for for each channel, but I didn't really get to do anything for this channel. So we're gonna try to get those numbers up with this channel, man. It's coming, people. It's coming. Would you ever consider getting a, a Tesla? Yes, I. I mean, I have already considered getting a Tesla. All right, there it is, getting getting back over. Again, I think it feels like it knows best. So we're going we're gonna to just let it rock, man. We're just going to monitor, you know, keep both hands on the steering wheel or whatever and just let it do what it do. I will say this, the, uh, the percentage seems like it's going up. Oh. I can actually appreciate that. Yes, that's a good thing. <laughs> This car right here is uh, it's like it's all over the place. I don't think uh, he had his coffee this morning, or he's on his phone or something. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, brother. <laughs> so, uh, would you would you ever allow uh, the car to drive you from point A to point B? The Tesla car to drive you from point A to point B. Well, you gotta try it. Yeah. So. Yes. Percentage wise, how often do you think you will honestly use it? Hmm, good question. Percentage wise. Uh, I don't know why my brain is saying 12%, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cause I don't, I mean, I, the knowledge behind it, like it feels, I'm in the, I'm obviously in the passenger seat. I don't know how I will feel and react to being in the driver's seat. I was, hold on, I was watching uh, the Tesla to see how it react right there. Not a fan of it, man. Most of the time when people are coming off, you know, of course, as long as they are, I'm not saying speeding, but they're doing like a decent speed limit, then I would allow them to go ahead and, uh, and come out. I don't, Tesla didn't, it, it acts like, it act like it didn't know what was going on just now. Like I, if it's on chill mode, then I would prefer like defensive driving, you know, just go ahead and allow that car to uh, to go. Especially if we don't really have too many people behind us, but, you know, that's just me. My apologies, though. Uh, yeah, getting the feel of it, of how, I feel how it's doing behind the driver's seat is something that I don't have the information for. So, I would just say a small number and it, you know. Did you get a chance to when you did your, uh, your test mm -hmm. drive and test out autopilot? Were you by yourself? Yeah, I was by myself. And no, I didn't. Man, I know that was rough, right? What do you mean? Like, 
trying to get used to a Tesla. This is your first time in one, and your first time, well, your first time actually driving one. Uh. I thought that regenerative braking can be. Yeah, no, yeah, that part. But it was cool. Like I was excited. I got it and shared a video with you. Uh, but I did try to record like my act reaction and stuff being in there and the whole time I would talk about that regenerative braking but I was like that is really dope it's really cool <laughs> <laughs> but and I drove I touch drove the um, SUV um, X. X yeah I didn't know the letter so that's why I said <laughs> so um yeah, man. I mean, I thought it was pretty cool driving in it. I would, I mean, I'd still be thinking about potentially getting one as well. And then, then like, uh, with uh, understanding, like, you may have to stop every couple of hours, one or two, probably like the close to an hour and a half to charge. Three. You said, hey, are, are you, did you want the SUV? Well, I want to test drive them all, but since I did test drive the SUV first, I, I'm more leaning towards it. Yeah. So, you're, you were saying probably more like three hours of having to stop and I'm, charge? I'm thinking maybe two and a half to three because, um, I think if you're thinking about like when we left, when we left um, in the first charge, we uh, we had to stop I think an hour and twenty, an hour and thirty minutes because I was at like sixty percent when we left. But after that, it was like two hours, twenty four minutes, two hours, eight minutes, two hours and sixteen minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And the SUV actually has more range. I think it's like maybe a hundred hundred miles more range than this car does. Oh, okay. And then if you think about it, you know, when you're going on trips and stuff like that, I don't know how everybody else works, but the average human, you want to stop every two and a half, maybe three hours to take a lunch break, take a bathroom break. Because even when people are getting gas and stuff, you know, they're they're taking breaks and hopefully getting something to eat or using a bathroom or whatever. Kind of depends. I feel like it kind of depends on where you're going. I'm just kind of basically thinking about going to see my mom, and I'm like, I feel like I probably wouldn't have to stop. Well, your mom is what, like three hours? Uh, depending on how you're driving. <laughs> yes, again, that's that's three out three hours. That's two and a half three hours. Oh, again, what I'm saying, like if you're going on those long, we just oh. took a 17 hour trip. You're yeah. going to have to stop every three. three yeah, no, every two and a half three hours. But if you're taking a three-hour trip, then of course you know hey, you can go ahead and go there and not, you know, without stopping. Mm. Mm. But if you're going somewhere like what is it called, uh, like Miami, you're trying to go to Miami non-stop without taking any restroom breaks, any food breaks. Again, I don't know about uh, that's... other people, but I know the normal, the average person would want to stop. At least once, cause well, we didn't what do. What the heck was that about, y'all? I did. I didn't do that. I did not turn on that windshield wipe. I don't know. I don't know what that was about. Did it sense a bug or something? So, um, uh, me and my sister, and well, me and my sisters, we drove from. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, we drove from Georgia to. Miami? So, no. Uh, some part of Florida. And yeah, we did stop at least two times. This is not an uh, electric vehicle, but just thinking about like driving in the car. How far is uh, that from Georgia? Seven? Seven. I don't know. We kind of slept. The ones in the back kind of slept. Oh. I was in the back. <laughs> but yeah, it was definitely an early trip and we got there. So it might have been. Probably like in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Probably about that, that amount of time. So right now, uh, 
I think I got it like maybe three or four cars behind. Y'all know, y'all, you can actually do that. Uh, I don't know. It's one of these. Again, I, I rarely, when I say rarely, I rarely use autopilot, full self driving. I didn't get my Tesla for this. But I do want to, to share my my first impressions, even second impressions uh, about full self driving and whatnot with you, with you guys. Tesla did give me this, man, and I felt like I, I had to make a video. And they can't just, you know, give you something that most people are paying for for free. You not at least make a video out of it. I know a lot of people are interested in uh, full self driving autopilot, seeing how how good it's getting compared to when it first came out. Because I heard stories when it first came out, they they made it sound like it was trash. And even when I first got my my Tesla, like even stop and go traffic, it was a little bit more on the uh, the jerky side. It does feel like it's a lot more smoother now. And when it comes to picking up different things, it's able to identify, you know, a cargo van versus a regular car or a truck or whatever. I think that's dope. Of course, it picks up stop signs, trash cans, people, cones, uh, street signs, I think trees, buildings. I think all of that is, is, is dope, man. Also, being able to uh, being able to see all around you, like we finally, when I when I first got my my Tesla, they didn't have that option. Like you could look at your your back or your front camera. I don't think you could look at like you know all around your car like that. Like that was a, a new feature that was added. <laughs> and I actually have my my little rainbow bro. But yeah, you guys can see like the cones and stuff they're picking up. Even the cars wheel up there, just picking those cars up. Stays in the middle of the lane. Oh, gosh. And then also another thing, if you're going to get in the fast lane, this is why I prefer for it not to get in the fast lane. You know, it's topping off at 70 miles per hour and we have a, a truck behind us. Uh. <laughs> Let's see if it, it's gonna be nice enough to get over. Okay, it's getting over. Okay, cool. Let that guy get past. Hey, that's 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 what's up. Yeah, but I do I do appreciate again you got some some drivers that uh that'll like tailgate you, like be directly on your heels trying to get you to get over. I appreciate that. Big S, the big suburban. All right, Tesla, you got somebody in front of you. Slow down, big dog. Uh, they don't know what it want to do. Okay. They didn't signal. They didn't signal, just to be fair. And I'm paying close attention to, you know, what's going on and whatnot. But they didn't signal something. And they were trying to get over. That's why signals are so important. Signals are your best friends. as a truck in front of us. Let's see if it picks up those people over there. Sort of kind of. Sort of kind of. You can kind of see some people over there. Okay. <laughs> On the other side. actually on the way to South Carolina to do some um, some videos for the real estate channel and I told you guys that I was gonna get this video out you know before pretty much before they take this uh, this full self driving so they only gave me about 30 days to use it to test it out or whatever trying to get me probably to buy it which I'm not I'm not gonna buy it gotcha, baby. But yeah, try to try to get me to buy it, which I think is genius. You know, you give somebody something and sometimes they might be like, you know what? I want to hold on. I want to keep this thing. Apple. 
Apple almost got me like that with this uh, Apple Fitness. Almost oh. got me to buy a watch. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and buy that service, ten dollars per month. Just so I can see what my brother is doing while he working out or whatever, and we kind of, you know, go back and forth or whatever, you know, on the competitive side. Me and him both are really, really competitive. But I was like, nah, you almost got me, almost got me, man. But I'm actually completely satisfied with the uh, just the um, the auto versus the full self driving autopilot. Autopilot again. Only time I really, really, honestly use this thing is like stop and go traffic or, or whatever. But for the most part, I would rather drive myself. Not that I don't think that the uh, you know full self driving will will be able to handle this stuff. It's just I just prefer to be in control. That's just a, a me thing. I don't think nothing or no one is gonna be able to do things as efficient as I can. Might be wrong, might be wrong. But I'm right. No, I'm just turn it huh? I said, should I turn, turn the camera toward you? <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, I think it's the either the third or the fourth is when this is going to be up. That's why. I, I think it's the fourth. The fourth of May. Today is the second. So yeah, be expecting. I might be able to put this video out today. May the, uh, it's May the second. Try to put this video out today. I will say this, man. Like I'm so, I'm still so used to to paying attention to what's in front of me instead of looking at the screen. So having to, you know, remind Tessa that I'm paying attention. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit on the uh, I'm like the unfortunate side. Like again, I'm not, I'm not look, I'm not constantly looking at that screen. I'm looking at what's in front of me. And of course, the side, I'm, I like to check my, my mirrors as well. I'm gonna make you girls strong. Yeah, definitely, but all of them is uh, stabilized. <laughs> yeah, guys, so I got the uh, the Osmo. This is the Osmo, Osmo DJI Stabilized. It's, it's the latest and greatest. Whatever the latest and greatest is, that's the uh, the one that I got. And the, uh, the iPhone 12. And a lot of people, would love to believe that that's a light setup. It is, but over time, that thing will wear you down. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a story real quick. I was at a, uh, hold on, wait a minute, we're about to turn real quick. Let, let this uh, make sure this thing handles the thing the way. I got you, I you. All right, and it should be uh, turning the signal on. At one, at least one, one mile out, point one mile. Out. Let's see. There we go. Perfect timing. Yep. Oh. Whoa. All right, we're gonna take over. I don't know what that was about. It could be the lines, but yeah, guys, I had to take over just now. It was jerking back and forth. So we got to deduct some points for that Tesla. Got to deduct some points, my friend. All right, now let's see. Again, that's why they tell you, this is why you should be paying attention and be ready to take over at any time, just in case we have like a little mishap. Come on, baby. Yeah, just in case we have like a little mishap like that, like the lines were kind of a little bit off. They are doing construction just to, you know, kind of give Tesla a little bit of grace. They were doing construction and stuff right there. So we're gonna see how it handles right here too, because I mean, Great turn. That was a great turn. That was a great turn. Yeah, anytime this thing is turning on, getting on or off a ramp, you know, I'm already paying attention, but I'm I'm dialed in when it's like that because I know this is still basically, you know, a computer or whatever. So it's it's learning. That's why they say it's in uh the beta state right now. We ain't graduated just yet, baby. We're getting there. We're getting there. But yeah, I think it's I think we are good now. Again, it's a stop and go trap. I can see, I can just really just pay attention to what's going on instead of looking at looking at that screen. 
but yeah if you if you can just remind me like if i'm not paying attention or whatever if you you see like uh just an ad for me. okay but yeah <clears throat> i was doing a and i might i might jack this word up a quinceanera i was doing one of those a few years back <laughs> and i had the canon 80d y'all already know canon those are some big heavy cameras canon 80d i had uh two different lenses one was a 10 to 22 millimeter lens and then i think i had like my zoom lens as well i was mostly using my my 10 to 22 so you know but yeah when you're carrying around that big stabilizer because at first i was like you know hey right, listen i'm in the gym man. i'm good but you got the stabilizer you got the the, the camera and don't have like a microphone like on the side or a light or anything like that man listen again quinceaneras are all day all day and i didn't know that it was gonna be like all night so we started shooting early in the morning you know the young lady is basically getting ready getting her makeup hair done you know, making sure the dress is good, shoes and everything is picked out or whatever. And I'm, I'm a one man show. Well, I was a one man show, just just me. Ripping and running back and forth, trying to get the, uh, the set up. Like, okay, this is done now. If you want to go ahead and get shots of the ballroom, you can go ahead and get that. They had this guy called the Fruit Ninja out there that, you, that was slicing up, you know, different fruits into different sculptures and stuff, man. He made some dope, some dope stuff out of fruit so he had his little stuff set up so i can go ahead and get pictures and stuff of that and they had like different booths and stuff so i had to run back and forth between shooting her getting her makeup done to doing that to getting the outside getting the drone shots it was a lot and i'm talking about i actually had two two batteries two batteries um <laughs> yeah two two different batteries for the uh for the stabilizer the stabilizer lasts 12 hours by the end of it both of those batteries for the stabilizer stabilizer were exhausted they were they were done and so was i it was like 10 11 o'clock and i looked at the time i'm like yo they still going like the kids the kids i don't know what it's like kids kind of like faded out some at some point in time they were doing like some line dance or something like that that line dance had to be going on for like three hours. I ain't even realized. I was like, yo, what happened to all the kids? And I was like, okay, this this, this is it. It's, it's, it's time for me to go. Like, I got to get back so I can start editing, get some sleep or, or something. All right, slow down, man. There we go. And they were like, you're leaving so soon? I was so like, man. <laughs> I know y'all gonna be up in here doing that stuff until probably about three, four o'clock in the morning. I got to go. I gotta get out of here, man. I, I'm I'm not a, a party type of person anyway. I was like, yeah, I got to I got to get out of here, man. Another party done started. If it ain't got nothing to do with, with with the film, with the actual video for for your daughter, I'm out, man. I don't because I don't drink and I don't, I don't do all that stuff. Especially wouldn't be doing that, you know, around clients because I think that's unprofessional. But. Yeah, man, that I'm talking about. I wanted to to take an arm off for a second. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was real. One of my arms was bigger than the other because I was trying to stick to that left arm. Like, you good, brother? Do some extra cur uh, curricular activities with that left uh -huh. arm. Really. <laughs> it would look strong. But yeah, nah, I, I get it. I get it, man. I know, I know the feeling. So I think we are we in Lancaster? No, I think we're still in North Carolina, people. I think we're still in North Carolina. We are taking what looks like a back road. The rest of traffic is leaving us right now. We're doing 35 miles per hour. I don't think everybody else got the memo. They look like they're doing probably like. 40 to 45. I tell you, man, that dog, that stuff makes your skin feel smooth. Good stuff. Yeah, in the shade. 
So far, so good. We did have one mishap. We're about halfway done with the trip. We got about 24 miles, 34 minutes to go. And say that we'll get there at 10.59 now. And again, the percentage is still going up. That's with the AC on. That's with full self-driving engaged or whatnot. And the percentage is still going up. And I know, people don't know me, but I know we probably got a few people that, that's feeling some type of way about, about me and this, uh, this car. <laughs> like, what are you doing? The speed limit is 35, people. I, I don't know what else to tell you. It's 35. <laughs> okay, Tesla. There we go. Speed limit is 45 now, so it's sped up a little bit. I appreciate it. So now he has to get over. It's coming up. Come on, Tesla. You got to get over. There we go. All right. Slow down. Stay in the line. Kind of got a little, little close over here to this side. They need to go out here and redo these lines. I will say that. Come on, North Carolina. Pay all that money back in taxes. They don't fix no roads, nothing. They said them politicians getting paid two hundred thousand dollars right. <laughs> per year. <laughs> say that's the minimum. Hey, say I got the wrong job, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> no, but honestly, being a content creator, a full-time content, there is no better job in the world especially if you love what you're doing there is no better job man i am currently in the process of trying to lay down some foundation for everything so the only thing that i will have to focus on really is content just work work on shooting and putting things out right now we're working on the face of the brand so when people come to my channel you know have like basically like a little mini commercial or whatever or a little trailer to show people you know this is what this channel is about and again i got like five to seven different channels that i'm working on or whatever and trying to get the footage and everything for those things while trying to keep up with posting content on these channels it is not easy and trying to keep up with my my regular routines you know working out family and everything else that that, uh, that life entails it ain't easy on top of running producing a, a podcast every week Whew. Life, life. I'm telling you <laughs> which I, again I, I love it and I enjoy it I just want to, to get to the point where that would be like my only focus I'd be able to uh Shift some stuff around or whatnot. Shift some stuff around. Because I actually, I'm one of those people that actually enjoys shooting and editing. And of course, the final, you know, the final part when you actually post or upload. Upload or whatever. And then go back and forth with people in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I encourage anybody, man, that's, uh, that's doing, doing content creating. A lot of people love to say, don't be in a... <laughs> no. Be in them comments, fam. Be in those comments, but just ask questions. Don't get in your feelings about it. You know, you can always take comments and, and all of that, that information or whatever and apply that to your videos or whatever. Again, I try to read all the comments on all of my channels. The hardest one, honestly, is Katie's Empire. Because right now, that's one of the other uh, biggest channels that I have. And uh, that thing is probably raking, I don't know, probably a couple of thousand comments per month. So, yeah, there it is. There it is, that. All right. Well, like we are crossing over, people. We're doing a lot of back roads. Come on, Tesla, slow down. I, I, don't, I really don't like being on people's bumpers, man. I don't like it, and I'm pretty sure other people don't like it either. Can we just blame it on the car? Uh, that we got to that point, yeah. 
pill. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's on self-drive. Right. Yeah, right. Like, I would love to put, like, when I'm, when I'm doing stuff like this, I would love to put, like, on the back, on the side or whatever, currently testing, like, autopilot or whatever. Or have, like, a little thing that goes around on the car that says currently testing autopilot. Mm -hmm. or this is autopilot. One of them little bumper stickers. It's not me. <laughs> it's the Tesla. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never been down this way. This is, uh... This is new territory for me, people. New territory. And I believe that Tesla actually takes all of this and uses this to uh, to make uh, autopilot better. Well, full self drive. Well, autopilot and full self driving better. All of this information is just basically taking it and using it, trying to, to get this thing to the point where, which I think is extremely dope. I don't know how I feel about it just yet, you know what I'm saying, as far as me actually doing something like that, but they're trying to get to the point where it's full self-driving, where you don't have to be in your car. Your car will literally drive itself around and do what they call robo-taxi. So you can literally go to work, hopefully you got like maybe 80 to 90% on the battery, and while you're at work, your car will literally go out and make money while you're at work. It would drive people from point A to point B. And by the time you, you get off from work, you're gonna earn an extra couple of hundred dollars from your car out there doing all the hard. I think that that is freaking mind blowing. That he would even think about stuff like that. I know they give Elon Musk a hard time or whatever, but I think that's freaking genius, man. And a lot of people were worried like, well, you know, what if somebody try to steal your car? I'm pretty sure the car would probably like shut down or whatever and you know, let the police know or whatnot. They tried to kidnap me. <laughs> right. Now I don't know how I feel about you know locking, because I did hear somebody say something about they're gonna lock the person in the car. No, I don't think that's a good idea. You know, if they're inside the car and we got cameras in here, we can see their face. You know, outside of the camp, I mean, outside of the, the, the cabin or the car, let them out. Because I ain't trying to have nobody break no windows or whatnot. You know, just let them go, fam. We, we, we ain't doing all that. We ain't trying to be Captain Sable. Let them go. But Robo Taxi, just the, the idea of it, I think is it's phenomenal. Y'all know I'm always for, you know, all right, we're going to line a little bit, Tesla. Come on, baby. There you go. Yeah, I'm all about, you know, trying to hopefully get to the point where your money is making money for you. And this is pretty much like an employee, one of your employees. So, yeah, I think that's dope. What do you think about Robotex? Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Is this your first time hearing about it? Um, kind of. I don't know. I, I don't. I really can't say how I feel about it. I'm just like I kind of, even though you know people do do the ride shares and stuff. Um, I'm kind of on the fence because I'm like, it's your private car. You're not in there. I mean, there's a lot of safety components already with Tesla and stuff like that too so yeah. mm -hmm. I would prefer for this thing to creep up a little bit more. Alright go ahead go ahead go ahead go 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 whoa that was a bit much I didn't like that I didn't like that <laughs> agree and I'm thinking with us doing stuff like this what tesla is doing again they're taking all this information you know putting it in the cloud or whatever and they're trying to make the ride as smooth as possible so if you do do ride share or whatever like stuff like that won't happen you know it'll be it'll kind of feel like somebody is actually driving like a safe driver is actually like in the in the driver's seat and you know you're not 
panicking <laughs> every time this thing is about to make a, a lane change, this is about to make a turn or, or you know go on or off the highway or whatever. I think I, I hope that's what they're doing, like getting it to the point where everything is pretty much just seamless. Like you literally, you know, uh, call for an Uber ride, and I'm I'm pretty sure they'll probably do something like. You know, do you want a, a person to drive you or are you okay with doing, you know, robo taxi or whatever? I'm pretty sure they'll have that like in the uh, in the Uber app itself. You okay. know, are you okay with yeah, are you okay with the car driving you around, nobody being in the passenger seat? You click that and it really just feels like a easy process. You ain't got to go through what we're going through right now. So we we basically like to test them. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With 24 minutes out ladies and gentlemen 24 minutes out 18 miles to go again the percentage is still going up we're about to be at 60 percent which is crazy man that's crazy go on, get on the, the, the 60 percent brother again with with the ac on because I don't know what the percentage was at the beginning. You guys, y'all can, y'all got an advantage. Y'all can go back through and see what did it say at, at the beginning. But yeah, the percentage has definitely went up. And uh, turn it up, I guess. But yeah, robo robo tax is what they trying to what they trying to get to. Man. Oh, yeah. We're moving forward. <laughs> technology and everything so if you were to, to or you know when you do get a tesla like would you you know maybe consider allowing it to do robo taxi if that thing making you an extra six hundred dollars <laughs> you know what i'm saying sweeten the pot <laughs> go <laughs> ahead day. come on over to the, to the <laughs> all right think about it that it's making you an extra six hundred dollars Per day, I, I'm just throwing numbers out there, guys. Just trying to convince her to come on over. But, <laughs> but yeah, like with Apple. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I I would consider it. I mean, who wouldn't though? At least consider it, I guess. Yeah. At least consider it. Yeah. Actual, actual, factuals, man. What, what is that, guys? Like 36, 42, 42 hundred dollars. Forty-two, good grief. <laughs> Maybe that's a bit much. Maybe I'm <laughs> because that's another thing that I'm that I'm sort of kind of worried about, right? Depending on which model you get, you know, would also determine how much money your Tesla could make. Mm -hmm. um, depending on the range. So, if you have a S and it gets about five hundred miles of range or whatever, roughly maybe four hundred and some change then you would probably make more than somebody that's only getting like maybe three, 300 or 200 and something miles of range. But again, with Tesla being as efficient as it is, like again, that's gonna, that's still gonna maximize, you know, your, your range in your car. But I'm saying all that to say this, like I would love, I would love for it to be a spot where Tesla can pull in and Either somebody can plug it up, which oh, I know they can what's name, thing. or <laughs> or they have like something that automatically like just just puts the thing in, let it charge or whatever, and then unplug. Because in the app, you know, in the app it lets you know when your Tesla is is done charging and whatever. Okay, Tesla. Here we go, y'all. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Now I don't know because it's 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 a good thing that people kind of went when they were supposed to. I don't know if if Tesla understands that you know the first person to kind of like get to the stop sign is the first person that you know. But it I, I, it did a good job. It did a good job. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was a little bit worried. I was like, bro, we better not be sitting there <laughs> and we hear that dog go horn. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I think, man, that that would be that would be dope. Tesla get to that point where they actually have another robot that charges your car up for you. Man, that would be dope, man. 
and then you can really maximize how much money you made. Like, listen, I ain't leaving. I'm not leaving this house for the next week. I'm just going to let my Tesla go out. Just earn as much money as you can, fam. And they keep charging itself. Yo, <laughs> man, you look up. You got 100K. Your car to make <laughs> Forget <laughs> car payment. I'm going to pay this thing off. <laughs> That would be like a cheat code, though, man. That would literally be a cheat code. But I think if any car brand would were to do it, especially in the EV space, I think Tesla, Tesla would, because they got the brains. They may not they may not have the look. You know, everybody is always giving us heck about you know the car not really having a face or whatnot, which I'm okay with. But Hey, we got the brains when it comes to, you know, full self-driving and everything else. Like, I've been in a few other cars and EVs. And I'm telling you, man, those things are light years behind. It's it's sad. The UI is, is, is trash. We actually went to go see uh, see Lucid. Lucid in, um, in Canada. Uh, they actually had a store in the inside of the mall. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't impressed. I was not impressed. Like the car, don't don't get me wrong, the car actually looked nice. It looked nice, and I understand that they say they're like the, the king when it comes to range. Touche. Touche. But you know, Lucid has kind of plummeted since they uh since they came out. Uh oh. What was that about? Season. You, yeah, I'm about to say they, they have little things here and there, man. That just kind of be like, come on, fam. Like we literally got like people behind us. All right, I need for you to pull out after this car. Pull out. Go, 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 go. go. Okay, no love. All right. Somebody revving their engine back there. <laughs> I think they transmission probably bad. They trying to stay up this, this little hill. Hold on, Tesla. All right, now you can creep on over. Go, 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 baby. Go, go, go. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm letting this car drive itself, man. I'm really, I'm really trying over here. <laughs> All right. Jeez, please. I get over. Please just get over. Let these let these people <laughs> get past you, man. <laughs> Woo. All right, so that was that was definitely one of the moments, man. Y'all, we had it, it looked like we had like 15 people behind us, <laughs> and one one of the, the cars are kind of like you know running the engine or whatnot. <laughs> I'm one of those people that I feel like I'm really aware of my surroundings. Where great power comes with great responsibility. And even though I could probably, you know, probably, I can definitely handle myself, I still don't like to rub people the wrong way. You know what I mean? That's just the southern part of me, man. Best of both worlds, if you ask me. Best of both worlds. You don't have too many people out there like that. You know what I mean? That, that try not to step on anybody's toes in any way, shape, form, or fashion, whether I'm... Um, slow down, Tesla. Slow down. Do not try to get over you. Patience. Patience, my dear. Okay, so here comes the uh, the rest of the people that were behind us. <laughs> Way back there. Best of both worlds, man. The best of both worlds. Nice and chill and relaxed and keeping that whole room dormant. Now, again, it has gotten better, but go ahead and get it. If you're going to get over, go ahead and get over. Yeah, it has gotten better, but it's still. 
is not perfect when it comes to slowing down, you know, because it does brake hard and it kind of takes off kind of fast, which can be a little bit uncomfortable at times. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm feeling nauseous. Well, yeah, uh, it's, get, it's getting better. It's, it's getting better, guys, slowly but surely. We're at 55 miles per hour, and we are in South Carolina right now. We are 16 minutes away from our destination, 12 miles away. What do you guys think so far? What are your thoughts so far on... Uh, okay, yeah, it did. Go ahead and get on over. Yeah, what are y'all thoughts so far on this full self-driving? Do you guys think that it's ready? Do you think that it's close to ready? Like, how far out? You need to be in a slow lane. You got a kid in your car. Protect the babies. Safe driver. That thing be tripping me out, man. Like, if you, if you gonna take risks, do it at your own leisure, man. Don't be, you know, don't put other people like the lane if you wanna get to some place two minutes earlier. It did, man. Yeah, guys, I'm from South Carolina, man. We, we just drive different. Like, if you're gonna, instead of being in a rush, you should have got your butt up early enough, you know, and left out early. If you're gonna be late, you're gonna be late. Simple as that. It's better to be late than to not get there at all. And again, you know, most people don't look at the the bigger picture like us South Carolinians. <laughs> I say Rock Kelly is all. I feel like everybody from South Carolina don't really run by the people that I can We are 10 miles away from our destination, people, and we are closing fast. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to At a stop and say, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. all over something like that. Let's see what what is is closest to this. I kind of wanted to pull in to somewhere and park. Pull up and park. Link us to ten miles away. I actually have a friend that's from um, Camden. Uh, let's see. two miles away peeps so we'll take that we're actually closer Hang on. we're almost there that's not what I'm wincing about 9.3 miles away 13 minutes away people 9.3 miles 9.2 miles 13 minutes say we're going to get there at 11.01 with 58% on the battery Oh, we're also going to be checking out uh, a few pieces of land as well. We may, yeah, we're, we're going to do that before we leave. And, and I'm going to see how far uh, a Clay, that Clayton Homes is from here. Superior Homes or whatever we're going to be going to. If you guys aren't familiar uh, or you don't know, I do have other YouTube channels as well. This one is actually one of the last channels that I'm trying to monetize. I've already monetized my other YouTube channels. Uh, KD's Empire. That's Empire with the number three for the, the first E. Uh, KD the Great. GQ Real Estate. All of those channels have already been monetized. Um, of course, this channel, I have the, uh, the Truth Podcast. Again, that's a, po that's a podcast channel. I do have a vlogging channel that I haven't posted on in a while. And I may just go ahead and make that like the other uh, travel, you know, the travel channel. Um, I have some other channels. I forgot what the what all the names. I, I just got I got a lot of channels. 
I got a lot of channels that I'm trying to keep up with, but yeah. We're trying to monetize all these all these channels, man. So every video that I post, anything that I, I want to do, I want to learn, I can literally just put it on or make a video out of it, put it out there on the internet, and hopefully get some insight from other people that's, that maybe have some knowledge about it or be able to provide some insight for, for people that you know don't have any knowledge that I've been able to either look at some YouTube videos or pull somebody on there that, that can kick some knowledge and get some knowledge to people. Just try to monetize my entire lifestyle. Not just one area. Like I want to be able to do anything at any time. Record it. Basically get paid. TikTok. Man, I feel sorry. Man, shout out to those people that's on that's on TikTok, man. Those creators is on TikTok. <laughs> Eight months. Eight months, man. The countdown. I really do hope somebody actually purchased TikTok. I really do. I, I don't want to see that platform go anywhere. I enjoy watching TikTok videos. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 6.4 miles. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, Lancaster, South Carolina is like traveling back in time. I'm surprised they ain't got a couple of horses out here right now. Oh, <laughs> For real. I would not be surprised if they got horses out here and some old dirt roads. I'm pretty sure they got some old dirt roads that haven't been paid just yet. But I tell you what, the land, look, land for sale. The land out here, cheap. Really, really cheap, man. You can get acre acre of land, two acres of land for twenty uh, twenty five thousand dollars. And it already got you know access to sewer, electric electricity. Some of them done even had the doggone trees knocked down already. I'm like, yo, why haven't nobody jumped on this yet? We'll be, we'll be checking that out today. Gotcha. Honestly, man, I'm 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 pretty surprised, man, how this Tesla has, has been able to handle this stuff with this. This has been one hour of driving. We did a little bit of highway, we did some city, we did some back roads. This is pretty much that all that all in one type of video right here. We had some mishaps, you know what I mean, having to take over one time because uh, Tesla couldn't get it together. Then again, just to to give it a little bit of grace, man, them lines really didn't make sense because they were doing construction. Why well, is that kid out of school? Speed limit, man. Speed limit. Because I will miss those sometimes. I will miss those. I still be doing 65. The speed limit be 45. Oh, oh. Speed limit. That speed limit sign came from out of nowhere. <laughs> we are about to wrap this video up. So, I guess we can go ahead and, and, and start drawing conclusions or whatnot. So, Based on this trip, because you didn't get a, get a chance to experience the, the last trip. Last trip, we actually had some uh, some some heavy mishaps that I didn't get a chance to record. But what are your what are your thoughts on uh, on full self your full self driving experience being in the passenger seat? So we'll be able to hear from both sides. So um, overall, well, I do the shortcomings first, like. Like we was already saying, the takeoff and the braking could be a little rough. 
Um, some of the turns are a little hard sometimes. Um, I don't, the speed limit thing is kind of a 50-50 because again, you do want to be safe. You do want to abide by the rules of the road, but also it's one of those things as a if you're obviously if you, you know humans kind of go with the flow of traffic versus the speed limit so that's one of those things that you have to be mindful for yeah and again you might be able to um adjust that in the settings uh but uh yeah i was very surprised about the four-way stop as well again we don't know if that was just because you know cars was you know going the way that it was supposed to go or it kind of knew the rules of the road but when you say that part too I'm just like it's almost like the car is going through driver's head mm -hmm. so it has to you know yeah and I feel like it's got his it's, I say I give it his license I give it his license not even the driver's uh, learner's permit I definitely I give it his license So just uh, uh, just to piggyback off off of what you were saying, yeah. Um, again, guys, this is not coming from an expert. All right, this is this is coming from, from speaking from the driver's point of view. Somebody that has had this Tesla for almost three years, but has honestly never used full self driving. All right, and barely used autopilot. So when it comes to the things that uh, I don't, I, I couldn't really tell you, give you real insight on thing that you could possibly do with this car i'm still learning it through all the the software updates and stuff that we get it seemed like on a, almost a monthly basis things in this car changes so freaking much man so trying to get used to something and then you know less than a month later tesla changes it from from this to that you're just like yo i could have sworn that damn button was over here now i got the you know, go through the settings. They done kind of hid it from us or whatever, or it's done changed or whatnot. But yeah, this this car is constantly changing. I don't really get a chance to use uh, autopilot and full self driving as much as I would like to, to to get a better understanding for how this thing really works. But just based on my very very basic knowledge, I do believe that you can go into the settings and you can kind of like offset it. So the speed limit is you know uh 45 you can set it to plus five over the speed limit and of course tesla you know if they got people in front of them or whatever they'll try to make sure that they're being mindful but also you know keeping up with the traffic you can you can both boost it up to five ten you really want to push you can boost it up to 15 i don't recommend it but you know i, I do believe that you can you can do it that way and there's probably a lot of things that you could possibly do it because this is this is a smart car and it's a lot of things that you can do in the settings that I don't know anything about. But just based on my basic knowledge, man, based on me having certain experience when I first got my car, testing out the, the autopilot just to see how it works. And when I tell you that thing was so freaking jerky, I'm just like, yo, what the hell is going on? Turn it off. Turn that, turn that mess off, man. It wasn't like the worst of the worst, but again, man, that, that jerking, and that stopping will scare the ish out of you. And it doesn't really help with, you know, your, your confidence about autopilot or full self-driving. So stuff like that, especially if you're you're like me, you know, you're a defensive driver, you know, you're trying to be cautious about, you know, how you're driving, not trying to ride people's bumper, not trying to do those quick stops or those those quick goals or whatever, let's be testing out the zero to 60. You know, I, I just this, this is why I prefer to 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 drive myself or whatever. But this trip has been a lot better than the last part. Part one, again, I didn't get a chance to record all of it because it was just me in the car. But it was a few times on the highway that I had to take over because it couldn't get over because of how Charlotte's traffic is, and you know, people start blowing their their horn and stuff like that can't get out and have a conversation with the people on the highway so you know it, it is what it is with that but you know this trip was was really really good man um outside of 
me having to take over that one time outside of the the starts the stops just a few men it wasn't it wasn't bad though it wasn't like extremely jerky um let me see all of, all of the great things again it does do a really really great job with recognizing different things around you do not follow that car we're gonna see how this thing parks i really i really do want to see how it parks Stop it, fam. It's going to food line. Looks like or where food line used to be. Okay, signal light on. You gonna turn here or you gonna turn with the next? Okay, we're gonna turn here. Okay. Alright. Slow down. Let's say auto navigation complete. So you're just gonna stop. Need to turn, 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 bro. That's really, really close. I don't know what the heck is going on here. I really did think that this thing was going to, uh, all right. All right. Disengage. Okay. I wasn't trying to. Uh... All right. So that's going to conclude this video, man. I really do. I honestly want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on this full self-driving experience? Again, I think I think that it was it was pretty dope, man. It was pretty pretty dope. Go ahead and back in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. Just my uh, my parking skill. Oh, but we in there though. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong that fast. All right, guys. Yeah, y'all. Let me know what do you guys think down in the comments about our experience driving out here. We are now in Lancaster, South Carolina. Again, Tesla. I think that this thing did a really really good job this time, man. Compared to the first time. Uh, thanks so much to Tina for holding the stabilizer's camera for us, man. Y'all give a like, give a little shout out to Tina. Tell her thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're gonna uh, we're gonna treat her to a nice lit lit dinner or whatnot, wherever she wants to go. You know what I'm saying? Cut her a check for. We ain't even gonna talk about. It. We'll, we'll talk about it off camera. Anyway, thank you guys so much, man. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what do you guys think about this and what do you want to see next. All right. Until the next time, y'all be blessed. Y'all be beautiful, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.